for the first 10 seconds they are just playing around, they are just dodging, uh, this is probably the first action uh, that we can learn, he wasn't able to hit the red because it was like a defensive Randowski, he didn't push his body with his leg so he didn't went through, he just uh, lift his kick, indeed uh, if pushed a little bit his EP, he would have earned those 3 points, but welcome, as you watched I'm going to analyze the fight of Rashidov, but I'm going to try to understand how to counter Rashidov in some actions, and overall what can we steal from this Jew? high level fighters. What are the most common mistakes that we should also avoid? And if you want to watch more video like this, click the like button. For the first 10 seconds they are just playing around, they are just dodging, uh, this is probably the first action uh, that we can learn. He wasn't able to hit the red because it was like a defensive roundhouse kick, he didn't push his body with his leg, so he didn't went through, he just uh, lift his kick. Indeed, uh, if pushed a little bit his EP, he would have earned those uh, 3 points, but due to this reason he wasn't able to hit uh, this uh, kick, and if we watch this red we can understand also how we can counter this type of player, so for the blue in the corner, but with this uh, sidekick was too close so to avoid this situation he should have uh, much more um, confidence in his kicks instead this uh, wasn't even a kick so not to be able also to tap the opponent blue and take any sort of points it was just uh, like a weird kick and if you want to do an action like this i advise you to just uh, sidestep and hit the back of the opponent so when you push your opponent in the corner you can just sidestep and hit. that was a beautiful sidekick from the blue this attack is really beautiful so he just uh, pushed the first one it was really aggressive with his uh, sidekick and from the blue we can learn uh, how to use the side so look uh, how, how powerful it was this kick he was able to push out the red and the reason why he was able to hit this sidekick while the red wasn't able to do anything is because they are close so they are both in their range they can easily score within any type of kick but the blue was um, faster to hit if you know if you think that uh, your opponent is going to respond to you is going to counter you you should use some trick so you can use a feint you can use a little backstep you can use a side step and then counter with the kick <laughs> so it's not a good idea to not attack properly because also if this is a scoring points it is a collision sport so if you have not proper confidence in a fight you are going to arm yourself so pay attention in my opinion this red is not fighting well we can watch how weak are his kicks totally horrible to watch i don't know why he tried even this type of kick he didn't even lift his leg and in this position because you are really close in this case you can easily lift your leg so uh, in both okay is the blue can easily eat the opponent red helmet and the red can easily eat the opponent blue helmet with the light an inner kick or an outer kick or you can easily also do a roundhouse if you want to do something different you can even move side and eat the back of the opponent you can uh, eat dodge in my opinion is even better to dodge but then you have counter you have to do something you just it's not good only to give space so if you are going to move around or just get out on the action this is the perfect moment to score back because the opponent is falling so he doesn't have the the time to react to your kick and you have the perfect moment to attack your opponent so when you dodge uh, an opponent attack or when you just step back the best thing you can do is counter with the kick a side kick right here whatever you want because you will have uh, the foot advantage on the tatami so you'll be much faster to react to an opponent opponent because your opponent leg is falling the tatami indeed look how slow touched the tatami so it was really slow to touch the tatami and with the leg up it was totally not able to lift the leg again properly so the red had a lot of chances in this moment to score back and take those three points later on he tried to react but was a bit too late because the blue was back on in this initial position you can move other side and hit back or you can just press the red and i actually don't like this type of uh, defensive action from the blue i don't know why people just don't move a lot don't move don't use side counters in taekwondo maybe they just do not train those type of um, side movements of course it's not easy to think name make those analysis uh, is just to understand uh, maybe what can we do in a fight but if i was in this fight probably i would have done the same mistake i'm not an hyper level fighter so i just like to study and uh, try to understand look this was a beautiful uh, randowski from the blue we can slow it because uh, push so you are going to push your rip over your opponent and uh, also his body went through the red body the red leg so he passed red defense and was really hard the red to block his kick of course uh, he probably would have blocked 
kick but without dodging this would arm really uh, uh, the red bro, I don't know why they didn't gave these three points uh, probably didn't it he was able to dodge it and he was able also to counter with this uh, inner kick that's the reason why I told you in the previous video to use this kick because it's really useful so the blue was able to win this first round of course he's going to win also this next round because the red seems uh, we does not have the proper spirit the proper energy to win this, uh, this is a good block from the red so the blue starts with a weak kick and just uh, remove the leg but I don't like that he didn't do anything so you got a little momentum use it uh, if you just uh, put the leg uh, do anything overall on the first 15 seconds where you have much more energies uh, really is not best thing so you just push the leg away and here step in and kick the helmet or the blue armor you have to train to block the opponent leg and then counter rapidly to stop and take point or those type of action are not worth for you it's much better to just dodge so avoid to risk points also this action the red uh, is, does not have a problem confidence on those kicks which can be maybe good for a studying moment for the red but if you think that you have to kick like this red in your fights it's totally wrong in my opinion when you fight when you fight in your lower competition is never a good idea to use those type of weak kicks because you are not ready to react properly like those high level players so it's much better if you are much more aggressive with this kick and you try to score and you aim for uh, the opponent armor so here uh, this red probably would have scored at least some points so that was a beautiful feint from the red so you just uh, kick and then just wait a second try to continue the combo when you start it and then you can end with the side so rewatch again so I kick a feint and the roundhouse kick that's a really good combo for the red but um, it was a weak kick and I do not advise to use those type of kick every time that you lift your leg in your fights in your tournaments you have tried to score the opponent armor or you're just losing energies if you are weak in this moment the blue could have a switch leg and counter with the spinning hook kick another moment to use a spinning hook kick and this is perfect moment to use a spinning hook kick three actions to counter with this type of kick and we can watch a good example from this blue so there is a little small action where they block the leg the red try again to score was a weak kick so the blue abused of this red mistake using an uh, axe kick. It was just a red mistake so there was the way counter. Maybe could have just paint, wait this moment and then uh, respond with the, like in this case also hook kick. So if you have the opponent in the corner, one of the things that you can do is just use feint, annoy your opponent uh, and build tension so it's going to make mistakes. We can watch a nice kick from the blue. As I told you in a lot of videos, you can eat the back of the armor, you can eat front of the armor, you can eat anywhere. So by you can't eat the spine. You can uh, eat the back side, so the, this side of the opponent. So in this case there is the red that push with the side kick, the blue just backstab and in the moment the red is recovering starts a nice front roundhouse kick to the opponent back of the armor and uh, I'm pretty sure that in your fight you are going to score a lot of times if you use this type of kick. I hope it does not win with just a punch because it's a little bit annoying and not fun to watch. Okay this is a good action from the red we can watch a really nice action the blue did a really weird roundhouse kick it was just a lot of weeks but was like a feint to opponent the helmet. The red was able to block and he spawned easily to this uh, blue action. The blue was able to counter to block. Then uh, after the first kick he didn't block and try for another uh, inner kick. Now of course uh, the red must recover this uh, single point to win the match, uh, to win the round. The red try a uh, roundhouse kick and uh, the blue block and counter with another roundhouse kick. I actually I don't like this type of counter because you are going to cross on the same leg. In this video probably the best choice was to paint a roundhouse kick uh, but for the back of the opponent so we can make a double kick here yeah this is the perfect moment use a double kick so use a first left roundhouse kick followed by another round right roundhouse kick and you are going to score two points there but he was able to take out anyway two points with the side kick so he won this match i don't know why <laughs> he got also another point and he won this second round i'm going to analyze better this fight and try to understand if there are any kicks that we can study much better or any action that we can study much better but i think we understand a lot already in this fight.